Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing eggless strawberry dump cake recipe made without maida or refined flour. Dump cakes are easy to make and as the name suggests, you just dump the ingredients in a baking pan and bake. This dump cake is completely vegan and super healthy. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. To make strawberry dump cake, I'm using 250 grams of organic strawberries. Since these are organic strawberries, it does not have a perfect size or shape. I have washed and rinsed the strawberries and I'm going to hull them. To make the dump cake, I'm using a glass baking dish. Now the reason why you call the cake a dump cake is because you dump all the ingredients into the baking dish and then bake. Hence the name dump cake. So into the baking dish, I'm adding in the strawberries. Next I am roughly slicing the strawberries. Ok now I have roughly sliced the strawberries and I have added into the baking dish. I am squeezing in half of a lemon. I am sprinkling in 3 tablespoon organic jaggery. This is stone ground organic crushed jaggery powder. And with a spoon I am just giving this all a mix. I'm going to allow this to rest for about 5 minutes so that the juices will be released. And 5 minutes later you can see that the juices has started to release out. Into this I'm adding in half teaspoon vanilla extract. This is entirely optional. I like the flavor of vanilla in strawberries so if you prefer you can add else you can totally omit it. And I'm just giving it a nice mix so that the vanilla extract is mixed into the strawberries. This gives an amazing flavor to the cake but it's just a matter of personal choice. Next I'm adding in 2 3rd cups jaggery powder, stone ground organic crushed jaggery powder. 1 and a half cups kapli wheat flour. Kapli wheat is also known as emmer wheat. Emmer wheat is an ancient variety of wheat grain which has a very weak gluten molecule and also is high in fiber hence I prefer to use them in my recipes however if you don't have kapli wheat at hand you can use organic whole wheat flour instead so I've added one and a half cups of kapli wheat flour next I'm adding in one third teaspoon baking powder one fourth teaspoon pink Himalayan salt or as needed and with a spoon lightly mix the baking powder and salt into the flour and then mix everything really well. Next I am adding in half cup wood pressed coconut oil. Instead of wood pressed coconut oil you can also use melted grass fed cow's butter. So I am just drizzling in the coconut oil all over the baking dish. And with a spoon I am mixing this. And once mixed, spread it out evenly on the baking pan. And now it's ready to bake. So I'm going to bake it in my preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes or until done. Remember that oven temperature varies with oven. Now instead of uh, strawberries, you can use any berries you can source locally. And now I'm going to bake in my preheated oven at uh, 180 degrees Celsius. And 40 minutes later, the cake is perfectly baked. So I'm going to allow it to cool down and then I'll slice and show you how it looks. The dump cake has slightly cooled down. You can serve it with a scoop of ice cream or you can have it on its own. Or you can even have it with a drizzle of maple syrup or liquid jaggery. Just a matter of personal preference. I prefer to enjoy it on its own. This dump cake is slightly moist and soft because of all the juices of the strawberries.
perfectly baked. You can see that the cake is perfectly cooked but if you touch it, it will be slightly soft and moist. That is because of the juicy strawberries. I like to enjoy this on its own because it is tender, soft and moist. But if you would like, you can enjoy it with a scoop of uh, ice cream or a drizzle of maple syrup or liquid jaggery. So guys, do try this uh, strawberry dump cake and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.